What's up? Juno from Juno Thrifts here with the second part of my personal collection. So let's just get right into it. The first tee here is a Patti Smith tee with the album artwork from her album Horses, her very first album. One of the greatest punk albums of all fucking time. Shout out to Wicked Rare Vintage on Instagram for plugging me on this. It's a beautiful, beautiful blessing. Second tee is this love stamp tee from JS Thrift. I posted on my Instagram story, um, yo, someone buy me this tee from JS Thrift. And this Instagram account was so kind to buy it for me. And then JS Thrift delivered it to my house. I didn't even have to wait for shipping. Same day delivery on some Amazon shit for real. What a blessing. This shirt has some stains on it. I wore it to a party and it got fucked up so that's my fault but i love it so much i'm never gonna sell it if a shirt is gifted to me i never will sell it this tee what a blessing this is probably one of my like most like expensive shirts in my opinion i value this shirt very high i think this shirt super should be super expensive but it is this war is not healthy for children and other living things. One of the most beautiful peace shirts I've ever seen. And actually a little story about this one is this is the first tee I ever saw on Instagram that I wanted. I started my Instagram account in like 2018, October 2018, and I saw this tee posted and I messaged them. I didn't know how it worked. I was like, hey, are you selling this shirt? And they told me it wasn't for sale. And like flash forward to like 2020, someone who goes to my local bins Offered to trade me this shirt for one of my tees. The trade worked out. And now I've got this. And if you notice, it's got some like distressing on it. And I fucking love that tee. It's got like the best distressing there is. It's like got a ton of holes and I fucking love that. Alright, this next tee. I just got like last week. It's from my friend Vaughn who runs Clothing by Bully. I cut it into a crop. It says, you're probably not my type. Fucking love this shit. The arrogance you gotta have to wear this. You're probably not my type. And also when I wear this tee, it shows most of my belly, which is not too flattering, but I don't give a fuck at all. And on the back, we have a woman with a ski mask on. Is it a, is it a ski? Woman with a beanie on. I, if I'm getting this wrong, I feel really bad, but the, it's got a nice back hit, but I mostly just love that front so much. I love shirts with just like phrases on them. I love them. All right, next tee I got from All Goods. Um, Ali, who runs All Goods, was just sick enough to bless me with this shirt for free. We've got a 2000s SpongeBob tee. And the thing that I really fuck with about this one is it's just like, it's just so classic. It just has SpongeBob, says SpongeBob SquarePants. It can't get any more basic than this. If SpongeBob tees had a box logo, this would be the box logo. If you, if you get what I'm saying, let me know. Because this is the box logo of Spongebob Tees. And it's a 3XL and it fits me like a fucking dress, which I love. Next, next tee. It's not really a tee. It's a crew neck. My bad. But Marquise of 847 Vintage on Instagram blessed me at the bins. With this cropped vintage crew neck. See, here's the thing with vintage. I love vintage and I love crop tops. But I'm not going to cut vintage tees. That's like blasphemous to me to just take a beautiful vintage tee and fucking cut it. So when I find a vintage piece that's already cropped, I usually keep it. Because it's just, it's, I love crop tops and I love vintage. And when it's already cropped, it works out perfectly. So thank you, Marquise. What a big and beautiful blessing it is to have this. Next piece. This piece, no one else adds. This is a one of one. A one of fucking one. This is the infamous, if you follow me on Instagram, and you've been following me for a while, you know this tee. Rest in peace, Juna. Forever in our hearts. I put myself on a t-shirt, and I said, rest in peace, motherfuckers. So I got this made at Summerfest in Milwaukee, when I was supposed to see a boogie with the hoodie, I didn't even end up seeing him. I just copped this shirt, waited for like four hours for him, ate some ice cream 
during that four hours. And then I didn't even stay to see him. I just went home. I just figured it wasn't going to be worth it. And everyone who stayed said it wasn't worth it. So shout out me for making that decision. Next tee up. See, this is one of those tees that's really not even good. But like, I just have it and I like wearing it. But there's nothing special about it at all. This is a GE Medical Systems t-shirt with, I think the back is pretty cool, like the earth with some flags, but it's really not that special. Nothing to it really. I don't know. Just, just throw it over there, I guess. All right, next, I need to shout out Ryan from RK Vintage on Instagram for fucking plugging me on this piece. Here we have, let's, let's get to it. A Monster Ball Tour tee from Lady Gaga. It was my mom's 50th birthday, and I was entering fifth grade, and she took me to see Lady Gaga on her 50th birthday. And what a fucking show. See, this is before I had swag, so I showed up to this Lady Gaga show with some basketball shorts, like unbranded basketball shorts, not even Champion, not even Jordan, some like unbranded basketball shorts. A shirt that fit me like this. I was like chubby as fuck. I still am. And a DC flat brim fitty cap. Bro, there's a picture of that somewhere. And that's just cursed. Unbranded basketball shorts. Shirt that's like this. And a DC flat brim hat. You hate to see it. But what you do love to see is this shirt. Absolutely incredible. It's a large. I can never find these in like a large or XL. So the fact that I have one in a large... Is a beautiful, beautiful blessing. All right, next tee's from All Goods. Ali, shout out him. This is a Drown tee, if you know that band. This is so sick. Like, I barely find hardcore merch when thrifting. So to have, like, a nice hardcore tee is sick because I sold all mine. So, nice tee. I don't even really listen to them, but I just wanted, like, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. All right, next tee is from Bryce. Of vintage bangers on Instagram. He just gifted this me, gifted this to me. Big and beautiful blessing of him. We got a Slayer tee. How fucking badass is this? It's just so sick. And the back is big pentagram. 2012, 2013. Absolutely adore this tee. I love metal tees, and I don't have nearly enough of them. All right, next tee. I want to talk about this one before I really show it. Um. When I first started my Instagram, I had a friend named Marley who I met through TikTok. Um, I have like 17K TikTok followers, so I like been doing that for a while. But um, Marley um, bought two shirts for me when I first started my Instagram. And she got the tees and she shouted me out. And I gained like 100 followers in a day. I think I went from 400 to 500 in a day. And if you're and if you know, if you ever are growing an Instagram account, you know gaining 100 followers in a day is a ton of followers. So she really had a large audience and she shouted me out and really used her audience to help me out. And um, one of the shirts I sold her was this one. And she ended up passing away. And um, that week I found this shirt at the bins. And I sold her the same shirt, so... It's like, I don't know. I don't know if you believe in spirits, but I guess I do now. And I um, feel like she's out there, you know. So we had a falling out and uh, I never got to say sorry. So finding this shirt was hard and just, yeah. But anyways, next tee is from Dice Roll Vintage on Instagram. He brought over a bunch of clothes. I bought some bulk from him. And he ended up throwing this tie-dye tee to me for free i just like it super thrash ton of holes single stitch fits me super big and boxy what's not to love about that next tee is a gift from my mother she bought me a thrasher tee at the mall it's the one with the girl that says oh no my boyfriend can't skate or something like that and she told me this shirt would look cool if i wore underneath that shirt so here we have a land's end a woman's land's end Strike T. And now I want to say something. You might think, you might be thinking, Juna, that's just an e-boy t-shirt. No, I had this shit before the e-boy shit. This is the OG, like, 
I used to wear this shirt all the time under black tees, and it was the wave before the wave. So you can see some photos of me in senior year of high school before the e-boy shit, and I was rocking this shit. So I just want to say, I was ahead of the game, thanks to my mom. Shout out mom, shout out Joan, love you, always and forever. Next tee. Alright, so I got this, dude, I can't remember the Instagram, and I feel really bad. But he was selling a Jim Morrison t-shirt, which I bought, and he said, yo, I'm going to throw in an extra tee for you. And I ended up liking this shirt more than the Jim Morrison one, to be honest. A, B, C, always believe in children. What a beautiful thing. I love t-shirts like this. I love positive shirts. I love shirts with a message. And it's got the little ABC back hit. You love to see it. All right, now here is a rare piece made by my friend um, from, the, from the company Vast. This is just like an OG vast pocket tee. I fucking love this tee. I'm not very careful when wearing anything, so it has like a bunch of grease stains. But this is actually one of my favorite shirts. It fits me a little tight. It's a large. I usually wear XL. But I just, I really fucking like this shirt. I don't know like what's making it so special to me, but I just really, really like this shirt. I don't wear it a lot, but when I do wear it, I'm just wearing it with such pride. I really, really like this shirt. All right, next T is stupid sick. I also got this in a trade from the same person who um, got me the, uh, fuck, War Is Not Healthy t-shirt. This is also from that person during the same trade. So the front says ProBiz Sports. I don't know if that's a company or like old streetwear brand or whatever, but the back is absolutely stupid and insane. It says Be Yourself. It says black, white, yellow, red, male, female, older, younger, wiser, divine, richer, compassionate. You get the idea. Tons of stuff. We're all different, but we're all the same. And most importantly, just be your fucking self. That's what this shirt's telling you, and I absolutely love it. Next shirt was a gift from Todd. He runs MSX sneaker shows in Milwaukee. This is a 2001 Sturges. Motorcycle tee, absolutely insane graphic, big back hit, and then you can't really tell, but across the whole shirt is like little lightning. Absolutely adore this tee. All right, next shirt. This is the, okay, so I got into like clothing through like, I don't even really know how I got into like streetwear. I it was kind of like Supreme, but I wasn't even into Supreme really, and I couldn't even afford it. But anyways, I started my own clothing brand in high school called Juna. I just named it after myself. And this is one of the first tees I made for it. This is like one of the only ones that exists. There's probably like five maybe that exists. But it's just Juna with a bunch of question marks at the end. I feel like if I keep doing what I'm doing and if I ever get really big, I could sell this shirt for like a bajillion fucking dollars. I don't know. I have that confidence in myself right now. But I think it's pretty cool. I think the design's pretty sick. I didn't know about Guess at the time, so I didn't know Guess did the question mark thing, so I thought I was really original. But now knowing Guess does that, I guess not as much. But, hey, I didn't know, so it was original to me. All right, next shirt. This shirt was a gift from my friend Grayson. What a beautiful and lovely friend. This is when I was celebrating three years of being straight edge. I am no longer straight edge. But I was celebrating three years at the time. He brought this to school for me. Grayson introduced me to a lot of black metal bands and a lot of like extremely heavy bands in general. And this is one of them. This is a new age Gorgoroth tee. This band is sick. This album is sick. I fucking love this shirt. And I fucking love Grayson. It's got the back. I can't read that. It's in a different language. But it, this album is great. And I love having a shirt from it. Second to last T here is from my aunt. This is probably the oldest shirt I own. I don't even remember when I got this, to be honest. But that banana yellow, which is very fitting because it has a monkey on it. It says, not my circus, not my monkey. I don't know what that means. I've had this shirt for so long and I still don't know what that means. So if you know what it means, let me know because I do not know what that means. All right, last shirt here. It's a Supreme team 
from I believe 2016 or 2015 that says mom. Now let me talk you through this joint. This shirt was at Trusted Kicks when I went to go buy a piece of like, I, w I went to Trusted Kicks with some cash, wanted to buy a Supreme tee. I wanted either this one or the Public Enemy tee that they had. I bought the Public Enemy tee, but I came home and I told my mom that they had this tee. And I was like, mom, I almost bought this shirt because I thought it would look like you would think it's really cool and everything like that. And she said, if it's still there, I want you to go back and buy it. Like, I'll pay for I'll pay for half of it since you like it so much. I went back. No, I didn't even go back. What I did was I, like, DM Trusted Kicks and said, yo, do you guys still have the mom shirt? Like, I'll buy it right now because I didn't see it on their website. They said, no, we sold it. It's not for sale. And it's like they sold it, didn't have it anymore. I was really bummed. I called my mom. She had left the house. And I said, yo, they don't have the shirt anymore. Like, thanks for the offer, though. So, a couple days later, I'm about to go play my guitar on a talent show, and I don't know what to wear. I'm contemplating what to wear. And my mom says, hey, I have a shirt you might like. And I'm thinking, no, you don't. You do not know my swag. You do not know my drift. But, turns out she does know my swag, and she does know my drift. And she pulled out this tee and gave it to me. She had went to Trusted Kicks without me knowing and bought it the same day she told me to go back and get it myself. So when I was DMing them saying, hey, do you guys still have the shirt? She had already left and went and bought it while I was like DMing them. So shout out mom. One of like a really fucking good memory. I'm never going to sell this. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's part two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. June of Thrips, always and forever.